The average marks of Sumit decreased by 1 when he replaced the subject in which he has scored 40 marks by the other two subjects in which he has scored just 23 and 25 marks respectively. Later he has also included 57 marks of computer science and then the average marks increased by 2. How many subjects were there initially? So this is an interesting one from average. See what it says. The average marks of Sumit decreased by 1 when he replaced the subject in which he has scored 40 marks by other two subjects in which he has just scored 23 and 25 marks respectively right so that's the first step right his subject in which he has scored 40 marks were replaced by two other subjects where he has scored 23 and 25 respectively and this resulted in a uh, decrease in the average by one right the average marks decreased by one later he also included 57 marks of computer science another subject and then the average marks increased by two the average marks increased by two average marks increased by two how many subjects were there initially is the question so basically here we have to talk about the we, we have to find out the number of subjects right the number of subjects that were there initially okay so i think it's all about framing the right equations using the given data and then working on those equations to get the answer see let's assume that the initial average is a initial average is equal to a what is average the sum of all the marks right sum of the marks divided by the number of subjects let's assume the number of subjects is n right this is sum of marks and this is number of subjects right so average is equal to which is s by n now understand that what does it say the average decreased by one average marks decreased by one that means initial average was a it decreased by one it became a minus one when when 40 marks of one subject were removed and 23 and 25 marks of two other subjects are included so from the sum you have to subtract 40 because that subject was removed so minus 40 the total will become minus 40 but two other subjects were added right and the marks code were 23 and 25 so the additions are 23 and 25 the deletion is 40 divided by what n plus 1 understand one subject is removed and two subjects are added so the number of subjects will become one more you understand n plus 1 or you can say n minus 1 plus 2 which is also n plus 1 why are we taking n plus 1 in the denominator number of subjects have increased by 1 if only one subject is removed another subject is added then n will remain n but here one subject was removed and two subjects were added so n minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1 so that's first equation a minus 1 equals to s minus 40 plus 23 plus 25 divided by n plus 1 or, or upon further simplification you get what do you get a minus 1 equals to uh, s see 23 and 25 is 48 minus 40 plus 48 is plus 8 plus 8 divided by n plus 1 that's one equation what else is given later he also included 57 marks of computer science and then the average marks increased by 2 later he included one more subject where he has scored 57 marks and because of which the average increased by 2 see what is the uh, what is the earlier average i mean the initial average is a after that the average become a minus 1 and now average increased by 2 so a minus 1 plus 2 average increased by 2 whatever was his average that is increased by 2 so a minus 1 has become a minus 1 plus 2 when 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 did this happen when see i am comparing with this equation right a minus 1 plus 2 when one more subject was included so s plus 8 was the sum it became s plus 8 plus 57 s plus 8 is the original sum i mean original sum as in the sum in the first step in that you have to add 57 more now because one more subject has been included divided by n plus 1 plus 1 which makes it n plus 2. One more subject has increased now. So this name makes it n plus 2. Right? n plus 1 becomes n plus 1 plus 1, n plus 2. This is the second equation, I think. We can further simplify it as a plus 1 equals to 57 and 80 65, s plus 65 divided by n plus 2. This is the second equation. I think two equations and there are three variables, but I mean three equations in fact. a equals to s by 1 is the third equation. So three equations and three variables you can solve. See, it is looking a complex solution. It appears to be a complex solution because options were not given. If options were given, we could have used a smart method. But since Monica has posted the question without any options, we have to go for the regular solution. There is no other way out, right? There is no shortcut. I'm sure some of you will feel that this is a lengthy process. It is a lengthy process because options have not been given. We could have done some, we could have applied some technique, elimination, substitution, etc. if options were there. But since options are not there, we just have to deal with the whole process. So I think what we can do is from this equation a equals to 
s by n i can conclude that s is equals to a n s equals to a n in substitute this s equals to a n now in the first and the second equation yeah so let's do this so i think from equation one what do we get look at this uh, from equation one i get i'll multiply a minus one and n plus one so a minus one sorry a minus one into n plus one equals to s plus eight right i am replacing s with a n or, or let's take s plus eight as it is equation two tells us what a plus one into n plus 2 equals to s plus 65 now solve these what happens a minus 1 into n plus 1 will make it a n minus n plus a plus 1 equals to c s can be taken as a n a n plus 8 and this equation gives us what a n plus n plus a plus 1 into 2 is 2 equals to s again can be taken as a n plus 65 so if you observe a n and a n gets cancelled in both the equations on both the sides so first equation finally reduces to and then now if i add i think we can solve it here itself right let's add the two equations what do we get uh, minus n plus n gets cancelled a plus a is 2a 2a plus 3 2a plus 3 equals to 65 plus 8 is how much 73 yes or no i think i've made a mistake here this is two times a it's not a it's this should be two a i'm sorry about this right a into an a n plus n plus two a plus two plus two a plus two yeah yeah i think let, 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 let me solve it a little differently okay so lack of space is one challenge i have anyway so what do we get from the i mean see basically what are we doing i'm 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 just redoing this whole thing i think we made an error i i made an error not v it should be plus 2a not a so we get a n plus a n minus n plus a plus 1 and here we get a n plus n plus 2a plus 2 2a plus 2 equals to a n plus 65 now a in any way gets cancelled on both the sides the first equation results in what uh, a minus n equals to 8 minus 1 is 7 right oh i'm sorry i've made one more mistake i think i need to work on my basics this is minus 1 this is not plus 1 sorry about these errors i think i'm lost this is a minus n minus 1 equals to 8 so a minus n becomes 9 and here uh, 2a plus n becomes 65 minus 2 63 so solve for this what happens i think uh, minus n plus n gets cancelled 3a equals to 72 or a is equal to 24 a is equal to 24 if a is 24 what will be n 24 minus n equals to 9 so n will be equal to 15 yeah so which implies n is equal to 15 i mean solution is your lookout i mean i'm sure you can solve the equations yourself but n comes out to be 15 there are total 15 subjects a is equal to 24 and hence uh, n is equal to 15 